Good morning guys and Eid Mubarak to all. We do have a lot planned for the day and the rest of the Eid break. So we're starting off by dropping Loki at Pet Care. Pet Care is located in Ajman, only 15 minutes away from where we live. And we're so happy we found this new place for him because it's so spacious and their services are complete. For the price, it's worth it. You can see Loki is so excited to go and we also can't wait for him to meet new friends because it's not all the time that he gets to mingle around with other dogs. Their staff are super friendly and accommodating and the place is just massive. This is actually the first time we're visiting so we're taking our time to look at the place and guys, they have a lot of playgrounds, gardens, and they even have a pool so you know your fur babies are really gonna have fun here. We were really amazed by how massive this place is. And it's also very clean if you can see it's well maintained. This is their cattery by the way. The rooms for the cats are spacious enough and they even have an outdoor section for them. Leaving Loki at any pet care is not easy but we have to make sure that he's well taken care of when we're out. After that, we headed to Walid's sister and brother-in-law's place. Where we ate our family and celebrated Eid with them. Now we're headed to Abu Dhabi where the real adventure begins. We have a lot of friends in Abu Dhabi and we're visiting them and spending the night. We don't go often so when we do, we really make sure that we spend our time with them. I could see Seth, Pao, and Ola, our precious hosts for our two days in Abu Dhabi. Hey! Hello! <laughs> so this is where we're going to stay at our friend's place. It's super aesthetic as it should. And we can't wait to spend the rest of our time with them. Three years ago, I used to live in Abu Dhabi with them. We used to share a flat. And it was pandemic time. And we had a lot of adventures then too. So we really bonded with that trauma, I guess. Um, now we're trying to look for a place to eat dinner. We found this Mama's Grill and it's our first time here so we don't know what to expect. Oh my god, I'm going to Oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic because that building, the white building across, is where we lived before. I didn't spend a lot of time there, but I could remember those nights where we just headed off downstairs to grab chai and shawarma. And it's just so simple back then, honestly. I, I miss my friends and I, I really love going to Abu Dhabi. If I had a choice, I would put Abu Dhabi and charge and mirror together. <laughs> Our original plan after dinner was to go to this place called Velocity, which is a club bar. But since it was not open that time, we went to a bar in Village Hotel, which was nearby our place as well. All of the things we ordered from food to drinks was only 79 dirhams, so it was really a good deal. 
So morning came and as usual, I'm the first one to wake up. But it's okay because I can enjoy Seth and Pao's nice aesthetic home and I could watch Olaf sleep. Here comes our favorite time whenever we visit Abu Dhabi. It's eating time with our friends. Paolo's cooking is amazing. He's the master chef of our group. After this, we're headed off to Reem Central where we're going to have a picnic <laughs> and we're just preparing our food that we're going to bring there. This is also our first time going there and our friends hyped it so much for us so we're really expecting a nice ambience, a nice view, a nice picnic place for us. Ikaw na ngayon, turn mo na. We were just talking about how at my last vlog, it was Aliana who was kind of the main character and now it's his turn because we're staying over at their place and you know how he's such a good like go with the flow kind of person so I really appreciate him for that. One of my favorite things in Abu Dhabi is everything's just walking distance I guess and if ever you need to take a cab a taxi it's not going to be super expensive unlike in Dubai and the other Emirates. So nakakapag swimming din kayo dito? I think we walked for about 15 minutes. I'm not sure but uh, you know what they say it's always a longer time when you're going to a place where you don't know rather than going back. So in my calculation, it was like a 15 to 20 minute walk. But the view was amazing. Aside from the building construction, uh, this community is really nice. They have restaurants and it's just an overall nice view to it. It kind of reminded me of JLT. On our way there, we met a lot of other fur babies, other pets, and you know, if I were to live in Abu Dhabi, I'd live here. For obvious reasons, it's really nice and just a warm community. Plus the community activities, I observed a lot of water activities to do for groups, for friends, for families, like jet skiing, kayaking, and boat rides for groups. just realizing that this area is called beach walk i think you can see the sign there and now we're just preparing our stuff for the picnic after claiming our picnic spot we headed over to where the water activities are we rented a i think it's called donut boat ride they said it could fit us all, so now we're headed there to see if we are going to fit.
Sabi niya, sino ang magda-drive ng motor? Ay, si Bless na lang. Ang bilis na sila doon. Ticket, ticket lang. Ticket? Wala ko ito. Ikaw muna. Magpapandod pang gitna kami ni Sir. Dito ako katabi ni Skolor. Mahala na. Mga ko wala pa nang Sunsets in the UAE are the most amazing ones I've ever seen. I've not been to a lot of countries, but I can say that it's breathtaking. And I realized that this was the perfect time for us to go boat riding to witness the sunset together. Yes, <laughs> At this time, we needed to go back to the station because our time's up and we didn't expect this. But, yup, it rained, it poured. But it was only like five minutes. Thank God we had you know, umbrellas and some mats to cover our heads but we still got wet from the rain so we decided to take it all the way and visit their swimming pool and not only visit actually go swimming this is a spontaneous part of our trip we didn't expect that we'd be swimming after but you know what we're already there so we're just going with the flow doing whatever that seems like a good thing to do at that time and Swimming was it. I think this is towards the end of my vlog, so I'm just gonna take this time to thank Pao and Seth for graciously hosting us and for Olaf for entertaining us. And the rest of our Abu Dhabi crew for always being there and spending their Eid holidays with us. We're really grateful for you guys and we miss you so much. And that ends my vlog. I hope to see you soon in my next adventure. Bye guys!